Strange. Just consistent throughout the tier. Yeah, but it just seems like such a big difference. Can Reaper get a buff? Nope, but everything else got a nerf. So, yes. I think there were technically some buffs, but none of them matter. Yeah, there are some notes here that, if you really squint at them, represent a buff. It's just better. Uh... Not gonna lock a buckler. <laughs> Even if I maybe should. That's not the sale I want. Yeah, it might be. But even then, like, why are the different opponents that you're getting so different? in rank when it's async. <laughs> no more variety pool? Maybe, but wouldn't you try to have it average out so that you don't have those big swings? <laughs> Only gain big when you win against the spikers. Maybe? Maybe it matters which boards you're beating rather than which boards you're playing. Um... <laughs> So much garlic. Get rid of second banana to grab this. Bye-bye. 
Then I get to do this. Have a full pan. That's good enough. Yeah, I think the Pestilence Flask is a little too bad on its own. I'd rather just dig for my Gooberts. Two pans. You need like three bananas. There was a patch where I liked double pan ranger. It was short lived. How are we doing? I, I gotta do a full refactor. <sighs> Something up here. So I don't want to completely grief my Pam. I still need this to deal damage. Uh. That also doesn't work. Streaming, did you realize you accidentally unfollowed? No! Well, welcome back. I could just go there. That works. This works a little bit better. Not combining yet. I don't know what you're talking about. It's so easy. Also, why do I have four garlics? Yeah, I think I've played one game tonight where I have not had a Death Scythe before subclassing.
Yeah, it took me a while to play the old classes, but... I'm enjoying Reapers tonight. <laughs> Much better than playing it a couple days ago. Bonk. I guess I should probably rotate these. I don't always lose the adjacency from the banana. Eh, this is fine. There's another garlic. Take it on sale, I guess. Um, double blueberry lets me buy a book. Two squares. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the orb yet. Um it's probably a way to get this in. Is it that important though? No, it's not bad. The comp's good when it comes together, but it is hard to get it together. Just too many pieces. The curve into this is so much smoother. Where, like, if we were buying pestilences, we'd still be weak right now. We could dark saber. Wait, no, we can't dark saber. That is not how you make dark saber anymore. Uh, do I think dark saber scythe is too much of a meme when I have all of the fanny packs in the world to speed up the dark saber? Got five lives. I don't know. That's probably good. I hate that it's my entire turn for something that I don't even really want to play. But I guess it's a way to fix my damage. important that I find the Corrupted Crystal next turn, so that I'm not just super griefing. Um... Speaking of super griefing... Get rid of this for now. Hmm. All my survivability is coming from garlics. If I just had to sell like two of them, I'd be fine with it. Thank you. 
giant refactor next turn. Freeze a new cap. I don't think cap's that important. I want to find mana for the dark saber. I'd rather have a shield than a cap. I'd buy another cap on sale. Just like that I needed the gold right now. Uh, where does this all go? Put this here and that frees up all of the space to fix food synergy. this now. I guess I can point this too. I'm not sure that helps. Square. I still want this on the snake. Uh, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Lose the gem box. Let's drop a garlic. Yeah, next turn there's another refactor too. Because I need to move all of the fanny packs onto the dark saber. We expected to be weak that turn. We tried to win it, but... It is tough. This is good. I don't want this long term, too. Free buff. Wanna bag it? So that only costs slightly more stam than the saber. <laughs> Okay, that looked awful, but I 
any packs. You used to be able to ignore Stam. Yeah, I don't know how the math works out. Hopefully, three fanny packs and a Topaz will make it work. <laughs> okay, that worked. That worked. I don't think the Saber ever honked. Did most of our damage. Mm. Help you ignore Stam. Because all you care about is the Saber not honking, so as long as the Death Scythe never attacks while it has 1.5 stamina, then the Dark Saber uses all the stamina that it can. Basically, the way you want it to go is the Dark Saber attacks right before Death Scythe would. Let's say zero to fifteen for going for their quit for zero. Did it? I didn't look at it. It shouldn't be quit for zero already. That's not usually something that happens until like Master or GM. Part of me does want to just keep the orb, but the moon shield upgrade's so good. <laughs> yeah. Put, like demonic into that. Have heroic. So plus thirty percent on this is just plus nine. Still not enough to get the moon shield going. If this just gives me a little bit of start of battle mana, I'd be happy. I don't know. <laughs> Hubert Enjoyer. <laughs> Not homophobic playing for the Rainbow Goob. <laughs> okay. Give Goob the crown. <laughs> sure. It makes my board worse. I I shouldn't. 
The blueberry speed actually matters. If I'm rotating, I'm not rotating my whole board <laughs> to crown the goober. That's going too far. Yeah, this just gives me starting mana. I think that's good enough. <laughs> just the goob. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Stacking bananas. No. It's hard for banana to matter, because you don't care about the, the sight stam. You really just want to speed up the dark saber as much as possible so the dark saber takes up as much of your stam as you can. Whereas if you have banana, it's just as likely to let sight attack as it is to give dark saber an extra attack. We'd rather just spend the gold on other stuff. Yeah, it's always used the mana to inflict the blind. Uh, because we were blinded, and when we weren't blinded, we had no stamina because they were double shield. <laughs> Mastered any class yet? Nah, we just hit the diamonds. We finished the diamonds two days ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take this first. Just like this. Sell out of this, grab the crystal. I guess we can let this combine. <laughs> Shields are off, but What do we even want here? This? Okay, we've got double shield. They're applying way more poison. Yeah, I, I think I like the pure poison version of this more than I like the Darksaber version.
You have such a good Hubert trigger doing it this way. How much of the poison comes from the pandemonium? I guess a good amount. Poison goob's kind of griefed though. This matter. It's just an instant empower. Not very useful for this. Could take Stam. Take another Mana Orb for buffs. Mm -hmm. Not gonna worry about the one buff. This is good positioning too, right? I don't think anything's griefed. They've got everything touching the burning sword. And our position's not great because this it's like honks a lot. Uh maybe. At the same time, though, like, our mana was fine, right? We only need the mana orb to be so good. Oh, unless we never trigger the book. Oh, we do have two books now. Oh, yeah, I definitely should have moved it when we got two books. Oh, yeah, I guess... Yeah, we get a book here. And the second one never triggers, yeah. Yeah, this could have been like here or something, just try to get it on double gl glowing crown, moon shield, holy armor. Probably better. Friendly fire with that much heat gen. Because you care more about the defensive layer. Turns out getting a book for your subclass item is pretty strong. <laughs> 